So today there was something that was pretty funny that, that I saw pop up online. And at first I really wasn't sure why people are so fascinated with this, but then after looking through the pictures, I kind of get it. This is from Masahiro Sakurai and what seems to be a new setup for his uh, different gaming systems. And as you go through them, you'll notice that the Switch is in a, an interesting setup or at least position and we'll go over that here today guys if you enjoy these videos make sure you hit that like button helps out a ton and if you're new here to the spawn wave plus channel make sure you're subscribed down below so this was over on nintendo life uh, showcasing some of the pictures that sakurai posted up on twitter basically just showing off this custom made like uh, cabinets that he had for his uh systems he said I had a made-to-order mach uh, game machine uh, shelf made. For waste heat, the top plate and the back are removed. When playing, the door is left open. The wiring is passed straight through the hole in the center behind the shelf board. The bottom two rows are for controllers and such. The power supply on the back can be turned off individually. So it, there's a lot of thought put into this. I mean, most of us, I would say, probably go to, like, an Ikea, a Walmart, uh, a Target, uh, even Best Buy, maybe you're buying your TV and you see an entertainment center there that they have set up, and you just kind of live with it. I, I mean, there are some really cool custom builds that I will occasionally see pop up on Twitter where people are showing off their, their overall gaming setup, but for the most part, many of us have the, a very similar entertainment center. Now, Sakurai went all out here with the, with the full glass display on the front, and it looks like each one of these individually, like, kind of pops up and then I guess pushes in because they look like they kind of slide back um, into the into the cabinet itself but all right PS5 and Xbox at the top I noticed in the articles on Nintendo Life they were like I don't know if those two should be next to each other I, I don't think he has both of them on at the same time anyway most likely one is on when he's playing his PS5 and maybe the other could be on when it's updating or downloading and that's probably it. Sakurai did have a setup at one point that he posted that seemed to get a lot of attention kind of like this uh, because it was two like large 65 inch displays next to each other. Uh, so he could play two different games at once or, or like watch TV and then like play a game. I've seen those setups for like when like couples or something are playing games, they can both play them at the same time. But uh, it was interesting for one person <laughs> to have that to themselves. Anyway, uh, we have the PS5 and the Xbox Series at the top there. But the thing that got the most attention was his Switch, which is right here. It's the Smash Brothers one. Makes sense. Uh, but it's, it's like, sideways. And it's – that's – I didn't even think of this. And it's actually not a terrible idea, by the way. So we have the Switch, the PS4. Uh, is that a PS3 down there? Kind of hard to see. And then uh, there's, like, a – we got a Wii U, a Genesis, a Super Nintendo. Interestingly enough, a North American – SNES it looks like anyway and then the Famicom system there some close-up shots though the the switch is in a way to where it's sideways yes but it's like you can take the switch out and then just kind of push it in obviously he had to figure out how to fit it into this small space and that's what he decided was I'll just lay it down and that should be fine um, which got some people wondering if that's safe to do because I can understand you you you're looking at it and you're like, okay, there's one vent on the top. That's where the air comes out. And we know that it pulls air in from the back at the bottom of the switch. So it's basically one straight line of where the air goes through. Uh, and people were like, well, does that mean that on the back it's technically blocked? Well, the switch itself with this even looks, I mean, it's, it's a Smash Bros one that would be like an older dock. Technically, if you have the door closed on the back, it's yeah, it's, it's closed out, it's covered, but you have to remember where the cables go in, they technically have like a, in a hole there, so it's not completely like blocked off uh, from everything, and in fact, this probably doesn't really affect its heating that much, I mean, when I did a heat test on the Switch where I was trying to overheat it, I had to do a lot, like, the Tegra chip, even when it's in its docked orientation, or just docked setup and it's pulling more power, Still nowhere near what a lot of these other systems are pulling, like a PS5 or an Xbox Series, where, yeah, it can it can cook itself pretty good if it's blocked off. So having it at the top here with this cutout and, and the door open, it makes sense for that. But for the Switch, for the most part, it would probably get along fine here. I mean, I guess if you want to be real careful, if you can get it off the, the, the bottom here just a little more, even if that means you put, like, some... Uh, like some some padding on the back so it stands up a bit more off the off the shelf bottom that might help it but I I think it's perfectly fine there 
Uh, and then there's the uh, I like the power strip idea because each one can be flipped off and on, and even have some labels. So he's very uh, very thorough with a lot of this here. Uh, oh look, okay, so he has all his shelves out with all his controllers there. Still has that Wii U hooked up, I guess, for Smash Brothers. He also decided to respond because so many people were asking about the Switch in particular. I guess I would have never thought to do that unless I guess I was put in this situation where I had to fit it inside the shelf. But he says there was a reaction to the Switch dock horizontal placement. It's not recommended by the manufacturers. Do it at your own risk. This is just my personal experience, but I had no problems using it until I cleared Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Wow, Sakurai's already beaten Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm still working through it. I'm in like chapter 6, 45 hours, but I stop now to do some of the side quests because I was just rolling through the story itself and I'd probably have this thing finished in like the mid 50 hour to 60 hour mark but i want to continue collecting a lot of the different heroes and uh moving up the class ranks from 10 to like 20 and all of this but this this setup is i, I like the the entire cabinet obviously but if you're someone i guess who was considering i like his other one uh who was considering this because a lot of people were actually messaging me about this setup in particular uh, yeah, I think it'd be fine. Like, I, I don't think you'd have an issue with the the temp strain. In fact, with the OLED, that actually might not be a bad idea because you can remove the door from the back. Remember, Nintendo set that up so it's not on a hinge anymore. So you just pop that off, drop it down just like Sakurai has it here, and there will actually be a decent amount of opening, uh, open space below that switch um, where uh, you have the cables running through. So yeah, it's a uh, it's perfectly fine, interesting idea, but. Oh, uh, then we have all of his games here. Yeah, Sakurai. Sakurai's a gamer, all right. But let me know what you guys think about this, especially his setup here with uh, all these systems being put in this really nice-looking glass case here. And, you know, I'm curious because so many people were asking about this. Is this the first time you've seen a Switch like this? Because I'll admit, it kind of is for me. Like, I, I did not consider putting it in this horizontal setup. It it won't really affect it any, uh, other, unless maybe it slides out from it that's probably the biggest reason why nintendo wouldn't recommend this orientation not because of heat but because the overall uh setup for we'll say users who may have issues with, with uh with technology they might drop it in there and be like why isn't it showing up on the tv but because you, you don't have gravity working alongside of you when it'd be in like the vertical position uh you might not have it plugged in all the way that's really the only thing i can think of here also no one's talking about the real issue looking at sakurai's gaming cabinet setup looking at the games that he's sharing i mean sakurai where's the gamecube let me know what you guys think about this one down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time